On Cattlemen to Cattlemen, we love highlighting the good work being done by cattle producers in and around their communities. Reporter Jill Sheridan has more on a great event put on by the South Dakota Cattlemen's Foundation to help provide hunger relief to those in need. Cattle producers work hard every day to provide a high quality protein that feeds families around the globe. But often, the need for that food is greatest close to home. South Dakota beef producers recognized this and decided they could help. Hunger does start in your backyard. You know, a lot of us, because we have beef so abundantly available to us, we never think about that. But when you go beyond, you really find the need that's out there. When we first looked for what we needed in this state back when we formed the foundation, we went and interviewed a number of different uh, organizations to try and find a partner that could best fit the needs of the state. And when we sat down with uh, Feeding South Dakota, it was just a perfect fit. There is a glaring need uh, for protein. Protein is the hardest thing for a food facility to keep on the shelf. We know that about one in nine uh, individuals in the state of South Dakota are considered to be food insecure. Uh, more alarming number is that one in six of those are children. We're distributing over uh, 14 million pounds of food a year to uh, help in the fight against hunger in South Dakota. And when Matt told us only 4% of that was animal protein, uh, we knew that we could help. It was a very logical decision to make and a very logical pitch to the industry because they work so hard to tirelessly provide a very nutritious product. We've been really excited to partner with Feeding South Dakota, but part of their challenge is that their food dollar buys a lot of carbohydrates and snack food and cereal and stuff pretty cheap. But when it comes to supplying protein in their diet, it's something that's really hard to come by. And so they didn't have any designated funds really to do that specifically. Once the plan of giving money to Feeding South Dakota to purchase beef for their food pantries was set, the foundation board member sat down and came up with an idea for a community-wide event to help raise those funds. The next step to providing Feeding South Dakota with the funds to procure beef uh, is really where the idea for the Primetime Gala was born. And in 2014, we, uh, we planned that thing for the first time, having no idea what we were doing. The first year, we set a goal to raise $100,000. And uh, I'm proud to report that after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, uh, we, we donated $115,000 the first year. The Cattlemen's Foundation's Primetime Gala is probably the event by which all other fundraising events are measured by in the state of South Dakota. I think it's exceeded the expectations of both the Cattlemen's Foundation, us as a nonprofit, and probably even the community in the state. I mean, I think it truly is the premier event that, that, that happens in the state of South Dakota. Um, I can't think of another event where they're going to have a banquet and they're going to provide steaks to 15 or 1,600 people at a whack and then follow that up with a headliner concert. The one thing that we've been blessed with from the beginning is the sponsors, and they have stepped up to show that they support this industry. And then along the way, we added in a huge donation with Billion Motors giving us a Chevy Duramax pickup, brand new for a five-year deal. We added EB uh, giving us a trailer, and it's just exploded. So everybody has really responded to the need because they see us giving the dollars back. So what we decided to do was donate a stock trailer that would be auctioned off with uh, all the proceeds adding into the event. Every year, it, we call it our Primetime Gala Special Edition. It's not just a normal stock trailer. It's got lights, it's got paint, it's got aluminum wheels, but in the same breath, it's got all the options that ranchers and farmers need on their stock trailers. Sure. Just in a, wrapped in a cool package. This year, uh, there's no doubt that we will eclipse the million dollar uh, raised mark in uh, funds for Feeding South Dakota. The industry as a whole has taken a lot of pride that this is where we are in providing that protein today. In addition to the milestone monetary donation, the Primetime Gala also provides an opportunity for beef producers to come together for an evening of camaraderie, not only with each other, but also with consumers from around the community. It's the cattle producers of South Dakota coming to our largest, our largest city, interacting with, uh, with the crowd here. As Sioux Falls continues to expand more and more, um, we have people that are farther and farther removed from being a part of a farm and ranch. And so 
we uh, get to interact with those people. Maybe a, a nice unintended benefit or consequence of starting this program in addition to donating all the great beef to feed in South Dakota. I think what producers really identified the most with is it wasn't just providing money and it wasn't providing just any ordinary food, but it was really about providing the thing that they worked the hardest to produce. We're so incredibly grateful to have this partnership because of what they have helped provide to us monetarily that ultimately then enables us to provide the same kind of products that they're raising. Uh, my hat's off to them uh, for helping uh, feed the world and for helping us feed South Dakota. Reporting from the Primetime Gala in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, I'm Jill Sheridan for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.